back along to K Park for our post festive football return after all the Turkey football's back. East Kilbride in action in the only cup at Stirling University. Looking at the lineups for EK, 4 4 2 is pretty settled lineup by Billy Ogilvy. Javik to the captain is out though through injury. For Stirling University, Shelley Kerr, a very experienced manager with a time at Arsenal Ladies and a settled squad as well for the visitors. And it is Stirling Uni in their green jerseys to get us underweight on this crisp, cool late December afternoon. At the corner for EK, and it's Mitchell's header, it's bobbing around and away. And Stirling Uni clear. Good stuff out to his left hand side with O'Hara. Right away the cross, and it is. A fantastic start for EK. Gavin Lachlan scored. All the time and space in the world for Ahara. And in the sixth minute, Lachlan gives EK the lead. It's a decent corner in for Sterling Uni. Comes all the way back to Gillen. When it's laid in the path of Sutherland. Oh, goodness me. He was onside by the looks of it. And that's a guilt-edged chance. Here's Howie. Oh, lovely stuff from Howie. Passed. And here's Mitchell. And that was a glorious chance for two. And McLeach with space, so it's taken quickly this throw. Free kick. Cole's delivery, Braff! Oh, what a header that is, and it's a 2-0 comfortable lead for East Kilbride. It was a dangerous area to give away a soft free kick, and there was the result. Wonderful delivery, wonderful goal, 2-0. Oh, Comes through to Gillen now over the top, and what a little bit of a mix-up. Craig Gordon not happy with his defender. But that is the half time whistle, and it has been on the whole a very good first half of East Cobra. Goals from Lachlan and from Braff. It's 2 0 at the break. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Lee finds support. Oh, it's back. Here's Lee now. Comes all the way across to Sheridan. And, oh, and in the end, that shot came across, whatever it was, it went near the corner flag and past the corner flag. It's hopeful, but it's caught out. EK now in the charge is Bolam. One on one here is Bolam. Can he take it around Gordon? On. Oh, he's fluffed that chance and hacked away. It's Burns, the captain, and into the hands of Gordon. It's up high and up go the heads, and it's over. Falls in there. They're not good enough. Sterling Uni's huffing and puffing comes to nothing in the second half. There is the final whistle. And in the end, the bet on the second half did go to the visitors, but EK were comfortable with goals in the first half. In the sixth minute from Gavin Lachlan, and then later on in the first half, the second goal from James Braff, and man in the match performance as well. So final score, two goals to all T Scobride. Let's get some post-match reaction. We'll hear from Ross Wilson, the assistant manager of East Cobride in a moment. But David Craig, first of all, is with James Bruff, the man of the match. It was a tough game, actually. Um, the first half in particular. I thought we played well, we knocked the ball a bit well in the first half, but certainly we get the, the break of the chances and got the goals. They had a couple of chances as well, which they missed, which helped us. And coming into half time as well, with two lead up, we just had to see it out, which we done. Um, second half they came into it much more, um, played the better football as I said and we managed to just get the clean sheet and see it out. Can you talk us through your goal? Um, I was, if it's came from the right hand side, it's a free kick. Um, we BJ's um, whipped it over and I've just been to the back post and luckily I've lost my marker and managed to get my head on it. And how do you think the team defended in the last 20 minutes when someone put on a lot of pressure? Ah, they certainly did. Um, probably through the kitchen sink, as, as you say. Um, aye, we, we done well. We seen it out we're, you know, as a unit. And to be fair, we didn't give them too many chances. Um, they missed that kind of one-on-one chance. But 
apart from that, we, we defended well and done our job. What's your thoughts on today's game? Uh, first half, good performance. Uh, moved the ball well. Um, obviously, a hard good set up the first goal. It was something off the training part we've been working on. Uh, ball across the face of the goal when Lachlan runs onto the ball. So it was that was good. Obviously, I'd, I had to come off and BJ went on. BJ sets up the second goal. Great header for Big Bruff. So uh, good, good to score for a set piece as well and a header. So. And how do you think the team performed in the first half in general? Did they hold the? Did they control the game as much as you wanted them to? I, I, I'd, I'd say that. I'd say the first half we were the better team. Second half they were the better team. Uh, first half we moved the ball well. We played well. Uh, they did have a couple of chances. We we were sleeping at one chance. He definitely was in the offside. Uh, they should have scored, which would have made it one-one. But even then, I felt the first half we we controlled it. Uh, and then the second half they get the better of us. Uh, what can you tell us about performance in the second half when the team were up against it, Sterling threw everything forward, trying to get back in the game? The second half, I thought our defence was excellent. Uh, Big Bruff and Morris were brilliant. Morris putting himself in front of balls. Big Bruff was putting himself in front of balls. BJ tight, done well. Howie as well. So, uh, second half, we get deeper. Uh, we played slightly deeper. They played higher. They were very dangerous. In the last third, uh, their movement off the ball was terrific. That was David Craig there with Ross Wilson, the assistant manager, Rhys Colbride, and James Ruff, the man of the match as well, in the 2-0 victory. Elsewhere, results-wise, one game, no only league, WD Star 0, Garth Vary Rovers 1, uh, Kyle Collins with that goal, and a end of a better week, results-wise, for Garth Vary Rovers after the devastating fire that took place at Netherdale uh, just before Christmas. Other results from the only league, Cup, Gretna winning by a goal to 0, it's three right? Rovers, we know about East Colbride, Inver City 1, Whitetail Welfare 1 in Section B, along with Spartans 2, BSC Glasgow 1. So looking at the table uh, for East Colbride, they have three points, they lead the way. Inver University have one, and Stirling Uni have one as well, with Preston uh, yet to play with no points. So that's about it from the highlights. Next up for East Colbride, they are at K Park at home to BSC Glasgow. Kickoff is at 2 o'clock on Saturday, and you can see the highlights right here with us on East Colbride FC TV. Until next time, from Callum Patterson, it's goodbye and Happy New Year. <laughs>